Hot tubs, we love them. They're one of the universe's greatest gifts to the stressed out, the sore bodied, and the party animal. But then comes the dilemma. Is the stress melting nature of a hot tub worth the seemingly endless cleaning and maintenance that comes with ownership? With the constant clean hot tub water management system from Marquis, there is no dilemma. Traditional circulation pumps are slow to draw water. They often filter only a portion of the water and usually only skim debris from the surface, leaving most of the particulates in the rest of the water untreated. Marquis Vortex Skimmer System powerfully filters 100% of the water from the hot tub, floor to surface, 60 to 160 times a day via its primary pump. The Vortex Skimmers skim surface contaminants such as body oils and lotions, then direct them into the filter cartridges, trapping them there. Water is also drawn from the footwell and forced upward through the filter to trap heavier particles that might settle in the water near the floor of the hot tub. All of the filtered water is then drawn into the primary jet pump and through the high flow heater assembly. From there, the Ozonator's high output, energy efficient design converts oxygen into activated ozone gas. The MOSI injector mixes the ozone with water, which is then introduced into the mixing chamber where bacteria and other contaminants are neutralized for clean, sanitary water. The ozone converts back to plain old oxygen and is reintroduced, along with any residual ozone, into the hot tub water. Water passes through the inline sanitation system and is treated with natural minerals and low-dose bromine or smart chlor before re-entering the spa. All of this happens without lifting a finger, thanks to the smart clean software that knows when you've used the hot tub and automatically triggers a cleanup cycle after your soak. The Constant Clean system allows you to change your water less frequently. Use less electricity than a traditional circulation pump that runs constantly. And use fewer chemicals that may smell or can cause skin irritation. For the ultimate hot tub experience, without the hassle, contact a Marquee dealer today. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Real Talk here on TV35. I'm your host, Pat Brock. We're here on the beautiful campus of the East Lawrence Falcons. And these cheerleaders, ladies and gentlemen, are getting ready for an amazing season. And we've got the 26-year veteran, Miss Tina Hester. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing very well. Now, Miss Hester, we know that you've been working with these young ladies for so long. I have. Talk to us about it. I've uh, been here for 26 years, starting my 28th year teaching here at East Lawrence. Never been anywhere else but my here. My Lord. And even some of your coaches, you, you coach right. them. Mm -hmm. Erica Thomas Green, uh, she's been here five years and uh, coaching, and she'll be at the high school this mm -hmm. next year. Um, I coached her. Yep. And then um, Haley Daniel Janufka, mm -hmm. she's on her fifth year also. She'll be at East Lawrence Elementary. Very nice. Um, and then we have uh, Macy Grubb. She went to West Lawrence. Mm -hmm. So we got her. Did and you get Macy? We did. <laughs> and um, she will be at East Lawrence Elementary also. And then we have a new coach this year that mm -hmm. is coaching our spirit team, Kristen Pittman, who is, who is not uh, not. I mean, she's been around for a while right. teaching, but uh, she's going to be coaching our spirit girls. So we're Wonderful. excited about that. We're excited about the team that you have. So you definitely, you're able to make it without Cammie Daly. Yes, <laughs> but we That's do like for her to come around from time to time. Yes, and she has definitely impacted uh, this organization. Yes. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about these girls because we know you've got separate teams we do. this year. We have a competition team that mm -hmm. is just solely competition. And then we have a spirit team that it will do... Um, football and basketball and we are pleased to say that both these teams are excellent. Mm -hmm. um, we, we're proud that we have enough kids that are to that caliber that can right. that we can have two separate teams. Right and you know to think about that you know you've got a lot of schools that have the girls on different you know the mm -hmm. same team right. and kind of spreading them thin like that. Tell us about what makes your program so great. Oh gosh. <laughs> um, I think what makes our program so great is that uh, longevity. 
Mm -hmm. I, I feel like that we've always kept our hands somewhere, a Falcon person right. that has come through the program, that mm -hmm. knows the program, right. and uh, with uh, Haley and, uh, and Erica, they, they've been here, they know what we have established, right. and it's just the same thing year in and year out. They start at the middle school and they know the rules and mm -hmm. they know our expectations and then it just moves on through the high school. Very nice. Now, how was the tryouts, you know, getting these girls ready and, and picking the right ones it for was, the job, so it, to speak? It was very difficult because um, last year uh, we only had like 13 kids on competition. Mm -hmm. And um, so this year we started out with 18. Um, we've had um, some that have dropped to the wayside, right, right. and that's okay. But um, our our cat, the talent pool was just so much greater this year. So it was really difficult to pick teams. And so, how many seniors do you have? Break that up. For we us. have three seniors, and there are all three on competition. No seniors on spirit. No seniors on spirit. Mm -hmm. So you girls are running deep as far as like the having the ability to do what you're setting before them to do. Yes, and we have a lot of freshmen on both teams. Right. And I think the freshmen are very excited and um, about their talent. Right. And they were talking to us a little while ago when we were on our way back from Clark's working out this morning. Mm -hmm. And they were like, we were just really nervous about coming to the team and, you know, being intimidated. She said, but they were like, but we're not. We're, we fit in and we're excited and we know we can do anything that we set our minds to. And that's wonderful, the energy that you bring to the girls and it helps them feel like they're a family and that they do belong. Well, and I think that the seniors also have put forth some effort to make them feel included. Very nice. And so what about this season? What are we going to expect from you all? We have um, six competitions we're going to. Mm -hmm. We're traveling this year. Usually we try to stay around here. Right. Our first competition, I'm going to look at my notes. Go ahead and look um, at notes. September the 15th is our first one, which is usually early for us, but okay. we're, we're going to try it. It's going to be at Pepperell High School in Rome, Georgia. Mm -hmm. So we're traveling. Way up there. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, we'll be at home at West Lawrence mm -hmm. on September 22nd. And we're going to go back north to Stars Mill, which is not too far, right. on September the 29th. And we take a week off. October the 13th, we'll be here at East Lawrence High School for the Falcon Frenzy. So we oh, wow. want everybody to come out and see us. Mm -hmm. um, October the 20th, we'll be at Vidalia High School. Okay. October the 27th, we're going to go back north, and we're going to be at Northgate High School. Region will be at West Lawrence, um, November the 3rd, and then our state championship will be the 9th and 11th. Wow, this is going to be exciting. I'm excited. Does this ever get old for you, Miss Tina? No, it really doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, and the girls that leave, I noticed that some girls that leave, they come back and they tell you how you've impacted their life. How does that make you feel? Great. It yeah. really does. It's, yeah. it's, it's very fulfilling and mm -hmm. I enjoy it and I enjoy keeping up with all the girls on Facebook and yeah. you know one was picking out her wedding dress yesterday oh, and wow. yeah and so I was excited for that and then there's you know somebody told me you know well I'm, I'm pregnant and I said thank goodness I'll have a grandbaby you know so <laughs> right right so. well thank you so much for how you pour so much of yourself thank you your heart, your soul, your blood, your Thank sweat, you. and your tears into these young ladies. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to meet these young ladies in just a moment. This is Miss Tina Hester, cheer coach here for competition. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it's your opportunity to meet these fantastic young ladies, and we're going to start with the seniors here. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. All right, girls, this is a very big year for you all, so share with us a little bit about yourselves, okay? And we're going to talk about your career in this squad, okay? Hi, I'm Eddie Mayo, and I'm a senior this year. My parents are Nan and Stan Mayo, and I've been cheering since eighth grade. Wow. Now, let me ask you this. So when you were an eighth grader cheering, and now here you are as a senior, in what ways have you seen yourself improve? I've definitely seen myself improve in confidence because I wasn't that confident coming into eighth grade being a first-time cheerleader. But now I feel that I have stepped up as a leader and in my confidence. Very nice. And what about this young lady here to your right? I am Morgan Owens, the daughter of Jason and Kim Owens, and I'm a senior. Very nice. You know I know your mama. Let me squeeze you right here. Now talk to us about your experience as a cheerleader and how long have you been cheering? I have been cheering for seven years and it has really helped me grow as a person and it has made a lot of new friends. Very good. And you know, as Ms. Hester was talking, she was saying like you all are like a family here. Yes, And how you help the younger girls, so that's really special. Hey, baby, talk to us. I'm Lauren Padgett. I'm the daughter of Mitch and Tori Padgett, mm -hmm. and I'm a senior. Now, how long have you been uh, a cheerleader? Since the sixth grade. Since the sixth grade. Yes, Did you ever think in the sixth grade that you would be where you are today? No, ma'am, not oh. at all. I've grown a lot. And tell us how you've grown. 
I've stepped up as a leader mm -hmm. and my skills have definitely improved. And you know, for you girls to be only now part of, you know, competition cheer, how different is that from spirit cheer for you? And what ways do you have to kind of, you know, change the way you do things? Accountability is definitely different than being on spirit because when you have to go in and perform, you have to be accountable for everyone else and you have to show a lot more leadership than you do when you're on spirit. Mm -hmm. And what have you seen about yourself that has to change? That has to change? That has changed with you. Oh, well, from spirit, cheering like in middle school, you really have to cheer on other teams. Mm -hmm. But like when you're cheering for competition, it's more of cheering on your own team. That's busy. And helping each other. <laughs> That's right. You have to like connect with the group mm -hmm. and you can't just like do it just for yourself you have to do it for the rest of the team too very good and you know we've had the opportunity uh, to see you all perform in competition and it's just a sight to see <laughs> you know good. just to see how hard you all work and and you know just the energy that you give I mean you almost make me want to be a cheerleader <laughs> Almost. <laughs> and so now I hear that you girls are up for uh, cheerleader of the year. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my Lord. Girls, you've got to share with us about your own personal experience with that and kind of what did that entail for you? Mm -hmm. Well, it definitely is nerve-wracking because it's pretty much your own performance. Like, you're performing against the best of the best senior cheerleaders. Yeah. And um, it entails a lot of accountability for yourself yeah. and you have to a lot of tumbling a lot of stunting and it's pretty much your own performance it's mm -hmm. your time and so how hard like have you been working outside of like the practices and camps to get ready for this yes ma'am definitely you have to go home and you have to practice your dance and your counts in your head because it's your performance you can't expect other people to like do it for you and that's now what about you? And I mean, this is something like there were over 120 apps for this, and you are like in the top 40. Yes, ma'am. It's does really that feel? scary. <laughs> it's really scary because there's so many other cheerleaders that are so good. Mm -hmm. And it's scary just thinking that you have to go out there by yourself. Yeah. But you just have to do it and be energetic and hold yourself accountable for what you're going to do. And what things are you kind of nervous about with yourself that you want to make sure that you keep tight? You know what I mean? Yes, I just don't want to get out there and forget everything. Right. And mess up because I know I can do what's in the routine, uh -huh. but I'm just scared that I might get out there and forget where I'm at. Do you like the wheels on your bus always turning, making sure that you're getting your counts and getting yes. the beat and always? <laughs> always. You know? And you can't show it on your face, right? Yes, you always <laughs> have to smile. Always have to smile. What about you? I'm excited, but yeah. I'm also nervous too. And so, you know, when you were kind of getting ready for this, tell us about that packet, the things that you all had to have for this. We had to fill out an application mm -hmm. and provide what community service we've done. Mm -hmm. And we had to also do like a short essay. And then they chose that from the other 120 people. You girls had to go back to school and write a paper. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so listen, we are so proud of you girls. We wish you nothing but the best because we know that this will be not just something great for you all, but this is great for our community. To know that we've got some excellent young ladies who are part of something even greater. All right? Yes, and so now your senior year, oh my Lord, are you like, how are you feeling about it? I've been hearing a lot of bittersweet things about senior year. Are you ready to tackle ready. this year? I'm ready. What are you going to miss the most when you leave high school? Probably my friends. Yeah. I just want to stay close yeah. to the people that I have. And do you want to continue cheering after high school? No, ma'am. I'm not. So you change, you're changing your ways of thinking. Now you're like, okay, I'm putting down the, uh, the athletics and I'm going straight to the books. Yes, ma'am. All right. What about you? I'm not going to cheer either. I'm going to focus on school. Have you decided what you want to major in yet? No, I want to go into the medical field, but I'm not sure what I want to be yet. Mm -hmm. All right. What about you? Are you going to be a future college cheerleader? No, ma'am. I've decided that I'm, this is my last year cheering as well. All right. Your last year cheering. And so have you decided what college you want to attend? Yes, ma'am. I've decided I'm probably going to go to Augusta State University. Very nice. Well, listen, girls. So we want to enjoy you all while we can, all right, as <laughs> cheerleaders. And so make this your best year that you've ever had. So savor every moment moment, and continue to mentor these young ladies that are looking up to you, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, these are the seniors, ladies and gentlemen, for a competition cheer here at East Lawrence. I've worked in kitchens, uh, bars, and I saw a lot of bad decisions uh, and good decisions and decided that I, I was ready to do it and um, I wanted I wanted to go out on my own and see if, if I could you know 
open a successful restaurant. There's definitely a Southern um, and, and definitely a Louisiana influence to it. I mean, I grew up in Louisiana, and I picked up the things in the kitchens that I worked in, or the restaurants that I worked in, and I used those things that I liked the best. We're committed to using all natural, no hormone, no antibiotic, uh, proteins, flours, any of our mixes, creating a better flavor profile in the food. Being a new space in such a unique place in downtown Dublin, uh, we had a great opportunity to, to really define the space and, and make it uh, unique to what Rich's vision was. We were able to also provide a uh, credit facility that allowed them to buy the equipment that they needed uh, specific to this restaurant and then also provide some operating capital to get them through the first year of operation. We're learning from Rich and Colby uh, as much as they are receiving help from us, so we look at it as a partnership. I essentially went into Kelly's office and said, hey, I got this idea. We just went through the financing process. They took a chance on me and gave me an opportunity and we're still working with them and Morris Bank's probably the best bank that I've, I've dealt with. They know your name, uh, they know what you're coming in for and it's just, it's, it's easy, it's easy to do business with them. If you have a good plan and you're goal oriented and you can manage the process and you learn how to do that, ultimately you'll be successful. The future is good. We keep managing the process that we have and doing what we're doing now. The possibilities are endless. All right, we've got three more precious young ladies with us. Hi, ladies. Hey. 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 Now listen, we want you all to kind of tell us about you all. Are you ready? Talk mm -hmm. to us. My name is Emma Oliver. I'm a freshman at East Orange High School. I've been cheering since I was in the sixth grade and my parents are Lee and Timmy Oliver. Now, how much do you love being a cheerleader? I love it. Love like, it. yes. Like more than, what do you love most about it? Being with my team. Being with your team. Now, are you one of the tumblers? Are you good at tumbling? Yes, I am. And how old were you when you started tumbling? I was actually about six because I also do gymnastics. Really? Very nice. And so now being a part of competition cheer, mm -hmm. how does that feel? It feels good. I like being on the floor. And what do you have to work on yourself the most? Like, you know, you got some pros and cons, like things that you are really good at and things that you really have to work on. Mine is motions mm -hmm. and staying tight the whole time. Mm -hmm. And also like staying in the air because I'm also a flyer. You're a flyer. That's the ones that go in all over. Mm -hmm. That's impressive, very impressive. All right, you're a junior, right? Yes, sir. All right, talk to us. Hey, my name is Emma Kate Baker. My parents are Donnie and Rhonda Baker, and I'm a junior at East Lawrence High School, and this is my sixth year cheering. Your sixth year, hmm. Your, your first year cheering, how were you? I was the worst <laughs> one on the team. <laughs> Like, I started out from a back handspring, now I'm throwing Randolph back handspring tucks. Oh, we saw you, honey. We saw you. We saw you. And so did you ever, you know, we asked the other girls, like, did you ever think that you would continue cheering as long as you've been cheering? No, ma'am. Like, every year at tryouts, I'm like, I'm not good enough. I'm not good right. enough. And then I make it, I'm like, I'm good enough. And especially for you being a part of competition here, that's yes, right impressive quite impressive and so you just got to get all this here yes ma'am I have a lot of mind issues yeah yeah I get in my head a lot and how do you kind of get your ready get yourself ready for a competition how do you kind of talk yourself through it so to speak I just go I close my eyes I go through the routine and I keep counting and I just memorize everything I have to do mm-hmm very good and here you go the proof is in the pudding isn't it yes ma'am all right very good talk to us baby my name is Takala Folsom. I'm a sophomore. My parents are Rhoda Wright and Robert Folsom, and I've been cheering since sixth grade. Since the sixth grade. Now, were you a really good cheerleader in sixth grade? I was okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so what ways have you seen yourself get better each year? When I was in sixth grade, I was really shy, and now I'm still shy, but I'm not as shy, and I'm mm -hmm. more confident. Girl, before you know it, you're going to be a social butterfly. You're going to be like, hey, y'all, how are you doing? <laughs> and so what is it about cheerleading that has helped you girls socially, you know, because you're saying being shy and kind of helping you out of your, coming out of your shell. What is it about cheer that has helped you become better people? It's helped me become a better person because I'm helping more people. 
because mm -hmm. I have to help my team throughout the routine mm -hmm. and it helps me be more interactive with them. Right, very good. And what about you? The same thing that Emma said, like I've stepped out of my comfort zone a lot. I used to be shy, I wouldn't talk to nobody. Mm -hmm. Most people would say I weren't that way, but I was that way. Right. And like, it's just easy to talk to all these girls mm -hmm. because her, she stepped out of her comfort zone so much. Like last year, it took forever to get her to talk to us. Forever. And now she's talking to us. She's barely talking to me, but I see her coming out of her shell. That's excellent. And so they said that now, so you girls have your stunt groups, right? So you yes, all are part of stunt group, and you are one of the tumblers that's doing your thing, right? Yes, ma'am. What do you do outside of your practices and your camps to get ready to make sure you're sharp every single time you step out there on the mat? Well, I practice my tumbling to make sure it's, it's always great and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, girls, now, are any of your family members like tumblers or were cheerleaders? Are you like living a family legacy here at all? Yes, ma'am. Who was that? My cousin Katie Watson was a cheerleader. Oh. I think her mother, Deborah Watson, was a cheerleader. Wonderful. And then my mom's side of the family, her aunt, Ann Tanner, was a cheerleader. Very good. What about your family? My mom was a cheerleader, and my cousin, my cousin Mason Young, she was a cheerleader as I well. I bet your mama goes crazy seeing you out here. Yes. She's always doing the <gasps> <laughs> Because she sees so much of herself in you. What about you, Ms. Folsom? My mom cheered when she was in high school, and my sister, Teandra Folsom, was a cheerleader. Oh, my Lord. School. You all are living family legacies here, so that is so fantastic. And we know how proud your families are of you. You know, Ms. Hester talked about, like, some expectations this year. You know, what is it, what are those expectations? The main one is to make top six at state mm -hmm. and to be region champs. And to be region champs. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Those are our main expectations because in the past we've made like the top 11 and this year we have so much talent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I believe we can make top six at state. And when you're saying that, and here you are, girl, that's fantastic. What kind of words do you want to say, Ms. Folsom, about these expectations that are being placed on you all to get ready for that? I think that we can get top six at state and win region mm -hmm. because there's a lot of talent, and I think we're going to do it. Well, we're excited for what is going to be taking place with you girls this, this season. I mean, we already hear from Ms. Hester and see with our own eyes what you all are doing. And so congratulations for the ways that you have improved and are yet improving, all right? Thank you. Thank, Thank you, ladies. I mean, this is such a great day here. I mean, just having the opportunity to hang out with the cheerleaders here. <laughs> all right, girls, share with us a little bit about yourselves, all right? And we're gonna talk about your experience here as competition cheerleaders. My name is Brittany Padgett. I'm the daughter of Lance and Nicole Padgett. I will be a junior this year, and I've been cheering since sixth grade. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Brittany, in the sixth grade, Yes. what kind of cheerleader were you? Oh, it took a long time to, to become where I am today. I know that much. And what's changed about you? What's changed? Um, my tumbling has gotten a lot stronger, and I have a different mindset of what to do and um, mm -hmm. how to accomplish things. And do you see yourself as a leader with these young ladies? I try. And what do you do to kind of make sure that you're setting that example for like freshmen, like these young ladies to follow? I try to be somebody that they look up to and try to be when they get older in my spot whenever I graduate. All right, very good. Hey girls. Hey. All right, talk to us, okay? Hi, I'm Samantha Snellgrove. I'm the daughter of Michelle and Henry Snellgrove. I've been cheering six, since... Since sixth grade. Since sixth grade, and I'm in ninth grade. And now you were competition cheerleading in the middle school too? Yes, ma'am. How was that for you and, and how different is that for you being in high school now? Well, one of the main things that was different was when I was in middle school, we had it was very new because I'd never done any type of cheer or anything mm -hmm. like that before. So I had to learn a lot and now I kind of just know what to do. Mm -hmm. so. That's good. And how was it for you working with upperclassmen, you know, juniors and seniors? They really helped me out with a lot of things. Like, they give me a good tips and stuff. Very good, very good. All right, darling, talk to us. Hi, uh, I'm Bridget Zurich, and I'm in ninth grade. I've been cheering since sixth grade, and my mama is Melissa Zurich. Very good. Now, Miss Zurich, mm -hmm. you are in the ninth grade. Did you do the competition cheer along with her, or is this your first year? No, this how was that? Was it different from high school for you? And what ways do you feel are your strong points? My strongest point is my tumbling, because I have a lot of power tumbling, so I, I can achieve my high skill. 
Okay, so when you're talking about power tumbling, in my mind, I'm thinking you're very strong. Can you get up to high levels when you're tumbling? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Now, if I wanted to be a part of this cheerleading squad, right, mm -hmm. what kind of things would you all have to test me on? Um, we mainly test jumps, how high your jumps are. Not stunt. good. Not real good. <laughs> and you're tumbling. Not so much. And energy. You have to have a lot of energy. There we go, baby. <laughs> I could be like the energy cheerleader, you know what I mean? Not doing much tumbling. You know, kind of sitting down a little bit with my legs crossed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, girls, you're, you're about to start in high school. I mean, are you excited about what's about to take place and what things you're kind of nervous or apprehensive about? Well, I'm kind of, I'm like excited, but I'm really nervous for a region and state because I've never done state before. This is going to be good for you. And, you know, I know that that's part of you all's the expectations, wanting you all to do very well. What about you? Um, I'm kind of nervous about state too because I've never performed in front of a lot of people yeah. like state is because there's a bunch of teams there. Mm -hmm. How do you get yourself ready for that? Like how, are you, how do you mentally prepare yourself to kind of like block everything out mm -hmm. and get ready for something like that? Well mainly this year we're going um, to Pepperell County to mm -hmm. compete and it's mainly to get the freshmen uh, prepared for state. So, right. What do you do to get prepared for like a huge performance? Mainly all the competitions beforehand. I try not to yeah. think about it, and it really all the competitions before state really gets me prepared. All right, so. very good. All right, girls, so you got this, right? Yes, you got it. All right, well, it's a pleasure meeting you two and speaking with you freshmen for the first time. We wish you nothing but success. And Brittany, as always, a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> the Cancer Center expansion at Meadows goes beyond uniting advanced treatment options in one facility. It provides a patient-focused approach to care to meet your specific needs. Care teams include a nurse navigator to offer guidance throughout treatment, the area's top specialists to coordinate a personalized treatment plan, support professionals, and survivor coordinators to assist you after treatment. One place, one holistic approach to care. Meadows Health, the Tommy and Shirley Strickland Cancer Center in Vidalia. All right, we've got three more young ladies that are gonna share with us, and we'll start with my right. Hey, darling. Hi, my name is Kylie Williams. I'm an upcoming freshman this year. Um, I'm the daughter of Crystal and Scott Williams, and I've been cheering since elementary school. Since elementary school. How, and, you know, how does it feel now about to start high school? It's a little different. Uh huh. The well, surroundings are different. Yeah. It's a whole different ball game. So you're actually having to grow up now, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. And so this competition cheer, did you, uh, were you a part of it in, in Middle school? Yes, ma'am. I've been cheering since competition for sixth grade through eighth, and now I'm in ninth. And what was the experience like for you with middle school competition cheer? Well, it was pretty great because I didn't really have a lot of tumbling, so it was a little different from now because mm -hmm. I progressed since then. So it's a little different now. Very good. Glad you're progressing. Thank you. Hey, darling, talk Hi. to us. Um, I'm Riley. I'm going. I'm an upcoming freshman. I am the daughter of Philip Dean, and I've been cheering since primary. Since primary school. Yes, what age is that? I started cheering in kindergarten, so like In five. kindergarten. Now, what made you decide to want to be a cheerleader? Well, I watched a lot of cheerleading on, like, TV and stuff, mm -hmm. and I wanted to do it, so I started in. My in Lord, and now here you are, about to start high school. Yeah. Are you excited? Are you nervous? Or what are you feeling? A little bit of both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a little scary going up to a different school. Do you find that, you know, with you being part of competition cheer and around like upperclassmen that that, that kind of helps you a little bit? Yes, ma'am. I know a bunch of people. Very good. So you're already going in there. Yes, ma'am. Already got some uh, friends under your belt. All right, darling, share with us. Hi, I'm Danny Barwick. I'm an upcoming junior. My parents are Greg and Danelle Barwick, and I've been cheering since the sixth grade. Since the sixth grade, and now you are a junior. My, my, my. And so for you as a junior, you've got some young, the younger um, underclassmen here with you. Like if you had to give them some advice about how to navigate through things, you know, what would you give them? Well, I mean, you talking about like at school? Yes. All right, I mean, just like follow your schedule and you have friends, you can ask them if you need questions and then mm -hmm. really it's just kind of easy. Yeah. You have it all laid out. Do you remember you. when you were a freshman? Yeah. Was, was it easy for you? I mean, I was scared at first, but it was easy once I got through the day. All right, very good. And so it kind of helps you girls to be around upperclassmen. Now we're hearing from Miss uh, Hester that you guys have a workout regimen. Yes, yes ma'am. Tell us about that and tell us how it's been for you. 
Well, um, when we started doing Clarks, it was the beginning like of the end of the school year, mm -hmm. and we were doing the 300-meter th run, and it's really stressful. It gives yeah. me anxiety. Like, Are you a runner already, though? I'm a good runner, and it stresses me out. Does it? Yes, ma'am. How long are you at the gym? It's from 9 to 10.30. And in what ways do you see that running help you? It makes me become a p powerful tumbler, mm -hmm. and it helps me in that. Powerful, huh? Yes, ma'am. All right. What about you? Tell us about your workout regimen. Um, <laughs> we do. We max out on squats and bench, and then we do the 300 meter dash. Now, doing those squats, mm -hmm. how have you seen that help you out here on the mat? Yes, ma'am. It's made my legs a uh, lot more powerful for mm -hmm. when I tumble and now, stunt. Were you already kind of a strong tumbler and stunner? Not really. Mm -hmm. And then going to Clark's really helps. All right. And so what about you? What ways have you seen working out the way that you do has helped you? Well, going to Clark's is like really good for cheer because like the running and stuff, like you have to have energy to be able to do all the skills in a routine because mm -hmm. you're doing like stunt and, yeah. and tumbling and all that. So it's really tiring. So running helps it. And like the weightlifting helps us to be able to lift the girls up and yeah. to make our tumbling more stronger. Very good. So there is proof and good results in working out. Yes, ma'am. All right, well, good to see you girls. Keep pushing hard, keep working hard, and whenever that school, uh, when school starts, just kind of, you know, know that you've got people there to support you, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you, ladies. Thank, thank you. you. All right, we've got the last three ladies, part of the um, competition cheer. Hi, girls. Hey. hey. Now, listen, we want you all to share with us because, I mean, we've had such a great time getting to speak with the other girls. And now it's you all's turn. You've been waiting, anxiously awaiting to chat with us, okay? We'll start with you. Um, my name is Raylan Cott, and I'm the daughter of Randy and Jessica Passmore, mm -hmm. and I'm an upcoming ninth grader. Uh, a freshman. How does that feel? You're excited? Yes, ma'am. And now, how long have you been a cheerleader? Um, since sixth grade. Since sixth grade. You know, a lot of girls are telling me how they've seen themselves, you know, change through the years. Yes, have you gotten a lot better? Yes, ma'am. I have improved in my tumbling a lot. Mm -hmm. Could you tumble in the sixth grade? Not that much. Mm, not that much. Have you gotten taller? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and so for you being a part of competition cheer for the high school level, what does that feel like to you? Very exciting. Anxious to Anxious? get on the floor. Yeah. And so what things do you work on personally to make sure that you're good at? Because there's uh, there's always things like that we want to improve on about ourselves. What things do you know that you have to like spend a little extra time on? Um, being tight mm -hmm. and just knowing I can do my skills. Mm -hmm. And so being tight, is that when you all are in position? It's like yes. when you, okay? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Just like mo motions and stuff. Mm -hmm. Very good. How's your facial expression? Good. Yeah? You Like this the whole time? Yes, ma'am. Like that the whole time? Okay. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Talk to us, baby. My name is Haley Tanner, and I'm the daughter of Joni and Keith Tanner, and I'm an upcoming junior. Lord, you know I know your family. <laughs> Love that. And so when did you start cheering? Um, since the sixth grade. The sixth grade. Were you any good? No. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that interesting though, like when you first start off something and like you're not really that good at it, but then you see as the years go along and the better you get, how cool is that? And so what are some of your strengths as a cheerleader? Tumbling. Tumbling. And you short too? I yes. bet you can tear it up. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. And so what are some of your weak points, some things that you have to work hard on? Um, like my arms. I'm very weak in my arms. How are your arms supposed to be? Like tight, strong. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, very good. Talk to us, darling. My name is Emma Baker. I'm the parents of Lotus Guyton and Chris Baker. I'm an upcoming freshman. I've been cheering for five years. You girls have been cheering for a long time. Now, surely you were a good cheerleader five years ago, right? No. Oh, goodness. I couldn't look at my hands free. <laughs> and so you all have definitely showing that persistence and sticking with something you can only get better in. Yes, sir. And what do you love about being a part of this cheer squad? It's just about having fun, and I just like it. You got a little something with a passion, mm -hmm. and chili is something I love. And you're connecting with these girls, right? And if you could pick out something that you love the most about competition cheer and something you like the least, what would that be? Well, the most thing I like is state, mm -hmm. and the least thing is football cheer but we don't do that this year. Uh, what do you what do you not like about football cheer? Um, I don't know. I just don't like cheer, like spirit cheer. Yeah. 
you're just going to stick to your tumbling. <laughs> All right, very good. And so for you, with your experience with here, right here, so if you had to pick out, like, the one thing, like, if you had to talk to some young, young ladies out there about what is the most exciting thing to be a part of this cheer squad, what would it be? Um, knowing you have your teammates have your back and you can always count on them. Always count on them. So you girls are definitely like a family, right? And as your shirts say, you can have results but excuses. Not oh, or excuses but not both. Impressive. Well, girls, keep having results. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep pushing yourself. Keep seeing yourself improving and seeing how you can help other girls to only get better in their craft, okay? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the competition cheerleaders here at East Lawrence, and we're super proud of them and cannot wait to see what this season holds for you. Thank you, girls. You're welcome.